I'm Uncle Jesse, and today we're gonna be resin 3D printing outside in the snow. Yeah, this is a horrible idea. Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. So this should be a really fun one. I'm going to attempt to do a little resin 3D printing outside in the snow today. Hopefully you saw one of my previous videos where I was using the Elgu Neptune 2 outside and was seeing decent results. With resin 3D printing, anything below like 68 degrees, you're running the risk of running into print failures just because it's too cold for your printer to be operating with the resin. So in order to make this reasonably feasible, because I know for a fact, if I put this outside in the 20 to 30 degree temperature, it's immediately gonna fail. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating and place a mini heater inside the 3D printer, sit it outside and see if it'll actually 3D print. So this is a mini heater that I picked up off of Amazon. I actually saw someone else, I think on the Elgu Mars Facebook group that had mentioned that they use this for their, I think their Elgu Saturn and it worked well. And it's only, I think 20 bucks, 21, 22 bucks. So I picked one up for myself and I'm gonna be trying to shove it into the Elgu Mars 3 with the lid on so that we can print it outside. And one of the first challenges that I'm gonna run into is just how to position this in the machine because it has vents here that's gonna push out the heat. It has an intake fan here on the back that's gonna suck in air so that it can actually produce the hot air that it's gonna push out. And then on the bottom is the actual power cable where that needs to go. So I need to figure out a way that I can actually mount this inside the printer. And I think I'm just gonna use a little electrical tape. Now I did wanna just reiterate that there is risk involved with running any sort of miniature heater or a space heater. I typically will run a space heater in this specific room because it is so cold in here and it's floating around, I think mid sixties right now in this print room, which is a little cold for resin 3D printing. So I'll typically, if I need to run a print, I'll have my actual space heater that I'll kick on. I'll stay here to monitor it for like 20, 30 minutes, then shut it off and then let the print run, and I typically am seeing decent results with those prints. Now, I'm not entirely sure how hot this is going to get either, and again, there is some risk involved since this is gonna be heating up things and we don't wanna necessarily start a fire. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any negative impacts on the machine as well, being in such an enclosed space or an excess amount of heat that could potentially impact the screen of your resin 3D printer. So again, if you're gonna attempt this, please proceed with caution. And more than likely, it would fit a lot better inside of the Elgu Saturn versus the Elgu Mars 2 Pro or the Mars 3. There's definitely a lot more clearance and room for this to be able to fit inside of the Saturn if I were to use this and try and mount it in there. Should also mention that over on the, I think the Saturn Facebook group or the Mars Facebook group, I've seen some folks create different mounting systems for the actual case or for the printers for their different heater units that they're using for the resin 3D printers. So initially I taped the mini heater to the side of those rails on the Mars 3 and it worked okay. It was a very, very snug fit and then decided, you know what? I could probably just tape it to the inside of the case. And that seemed to be a much better solution, although it did not look very clean. And before I could bring a printer outside for our test, I needed to pour in some resin first, and I just used the standard room temperature resin that I had sitting around here in the space, and it read at 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Now here's the really tricky part. I needed to carefully carry this and set it outside on the table with the top on and everything already and wired to go because I can't bring this outside and then put the top on or else the UV light from the sun would react with the resin. And before we run that crazy test, I did wanna announce the winners for the giveaways that we ran in the contest last month sponsored by Elgu. There was over 100,000 entries that were submitted for this contest, and it's time to draw those winners. So starting with those $50 Elgu Amazon coupons, congratulations. The winner of the Elgu Mars is going to Jeremiah Brunschindel. 
And the winner of the Elgu Saturn is going to Julio Guillermo. Congrats to everybody that entered into this contest and won. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Elgu for continuing to sponsor this crazy channel and me running all sorts of wild fun projects here and sharing them with you all. If you're interested in the Elgu Mars 3, the Mars 2 Pro, the Elgu Saturn, or even the upcoming Jupiter, you'll find links to those down below. I want to say a huge thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. And now that we've got the outside print underway, I did some readings of the machine and it's reading about 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the initial start of the print. I didn't pre-prep heat this or pre-run the heater in any way. This was just taking it directly from my print room and plugging it in and running them outside on the table. Recording from my phone, so the audio is gonna be absolutely horrible, so apologies there, but it's been printing for 40 minutes and fingers crossed the heater is doing its job and that the file is actually printing. It'll be really interesting to see the results and see if it actually prints in the next hour and 15 minutes, I think it says it has left for this print to finish. I'm also running a resin lapse time lapse, not that we'll be able to see anything at all with the case on and the print isn't that tall anyways for us to be able to see, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. It finished. <laughs> and look at that, there's prints inside. At the time that the print finished, it is 26 degrees out and it took one hour and 54 minutes to print and happy to say that they printed. All right, so I'm gonna do something really dumb here now that the print has finished. I'm gonna lift the lid off even though it's pretty overcast. I wanna see what the temp is inside. Oh, it says it's 98. Wow, it says it's 95 degrees. 83, it's 195, 93 degrees here inside the resin for the vat. And here are the prints as well. All printed, look at those leaking all over the table here. That's great, I'm gonna have to clean that up. Let me get this all inside before I make a huge mess. So let's check out the results of our little experiment here of printing out in the snow. I'm honestly surprised that the tape held up here with the heater in place and the temperature was getting up into the 90s. It looks like 80s, 90s there inside the printer. I did not realize that this heater would get that warm and these prints came out great. I'm honestly surprised at how well this worked and how well it was able to keep the heat in place for this print up and running when it's you know in the 20s, 30 degrees out there and snow on the ground, very, very cold. Again, would not really recommend anyone go out there and necessarily try this, but I know there are a number of you out there that are having your printer set up out in your garages and it's winter time here in a lot of locations and the temperatures are easily dipping into the 40s, 50s and low 60s. I also have links to the heater unit that I used in today's video if you're interested in picking up one for yourself and attempting this experiment for yourself again. Uh, a little caution to be held there. And I recommend checking out your specific Resin 3D Printers Facebook group because there's more than likely someone else that's already attempted this and might have a better heater unit option for your specific 3D printer. And if you're interested in my Resin 3D Printer settings or my support settings, you can find those in my Patreon and a huge thank you to all of my amazing Patreon supporters. But if you have any other tips or suggestions on how you recommend keeping your Resin 3D Printers warm in these cold wintry months, let me know down below because I'm interested in checking out some other options that might be available. I know there's some like little belt things that you can wrap around your vats, which seems like a really cool solution as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Yeah, this is a horrible idea.